Hey guys, Elton here. It's just such a beautiful day in the city today. It's a perfect day to be working or working on something that you're passionate about. Like, of course, for me, it's cars <laughs> and trucks and buses. And I'm here in my lair. No, just kidding. I'm here in my... Actually, you know, it's funny. It occurred to me, actually, I always tell people, oh, you know, I work there here. This is my office, blah, blah. When people come over and buy things, they're like, yeah, this is where I do all my work. No, it's not really an office. This is my workshop. This is where I make things happen. You know, like whether it's a building models, doing my paintings, and more on that in a second. And, uh, uh, well, I used to take apart a lot of my magazines, you know, to, to, to take pictures of the ads and list them. But, frankly, I've got so many stacks of ads to, to, to sell. Give you an example. Look, this is all my American car ads that, I, that are listed or are going to be listed down in this drawer here. That's all imported car ads. Then you got all other kinds of ads here. You got ads in here as well. Then there's all the stuff here that's not sorted. Or anyway, so um, I have another project too. I'm keeping it secret. Uh, it's going to be done, uh, I guess, in a day, probably in the tomorrow. And I'm going to wait for it to be sunny so I can film it. And um, yeah, so sorry, I'm a little bit pooped. I literally just finished this painting. And you know when it's cloudy like this, it's so inspiring uh it's hard to keep a high level of energy like you know when it's sunny but then again the past few days i was so tired even yesterday i was so tired i actually i didn't even uh, go out to go film stuff i was just so damn tired but uh, anyway so yeah i realized uh in finishing this painting just now that that uh boy there's a little bit of glare here right eh? oh, whatever we'll leave it like that Maybe we could just toss it a little bit, I don't know, from the window. There we go, that's better. Much better. Anyway, I realized in finishing this painting that uh, this is really the best place for me to paint uh, because it's quieter, it's cozy in here, even though it's a little room. I have that light overhead, thanks to Marcel for that. I am installing that a few years ago. And because uh, in the living room, it's not going to happen anymore. It's It's narrow, it's dark. It's next to the street, it's a little noisy. And then I was painting, as you know, for a while in the kitchen because there's an overhead light like that, but then the garbage smells sometimes. And not only that, the sink, the, the sink, the counter with the sink is like, you know, it's about up to here, right? So that's annoying to always have to reach over to on, a, on my so-called palette here to, to get paint to paint and, you know, mix water and all that stuff, so. Anyway, yeah, this is really a pleasure to have done this because, as you guys know, I'm a big Cadillac guy, right? I mean, look, just to show you here, if you've never seen all of my videos, um, let's see here. Okay, well, first of all, there's all these Cadillacs here, right? Uh, the one on the right, this 26, that's Ed that made that. Yeah, they need a cleaning, eh? This one here is a Franklin Mint. That one I built, that one I built, and the one on the end, too, the 63 or 64 and then i think is there another one in here anyway i keep all the cadillac models together so i'm a big cadillac fan um i don't know how many other pictures of any there's a lincoln but uh yeah so when i saw a couple of weeks ago my friend alex at the rego car show i was like yo man you know i was like what's up you know he's like elton hey i'm worried i'm like i haven't seen this guy in years you know because of freaking covid and all that he's like i want you to paint my cars so Alex, I'm sure you'll be watching this, then, you know, that gave me the green light, basically, you know, and that I'm so confident with my artwork now, I figure, well, you know, even if you wouldn't buy it for whatever reasons, like, hey, I'll sell it to somebody else, you know, uh, like that last RCMP uh, Ford custom police car I did, I sold it to Scott, and, uh, uh, you know, thanks again, Scott, if you see this, much appreciated, he's a big fan of my channel, big supporter, a generous man, and uh, he, I quite frankly, he's become a mentor to me because he works so hard on his projects, on his cars, getting them running, uh, maintaining and restoring, especially that. Uh, now, I'm not doing any of that, but hey, I am doing paintings all the time. And again, I'm, I'm doing my model cars, and, and they're getting better all the time with with, uh, with details and, and perfection, as you can see from this painting. Now, I wanted to show you guys the picture that I was using to uh, to do this painting. This is actually from a picture I took of this car back in 2016. I think it was at the St. Anne de Bellevue show. 
And, uh, but I was using actually the picture I transferred to my phone and then the pictures in the computer and I got to go find it and go down the hallway and blah, blah, blah. So whatever. So, uh, but uh, a picture uh, painting of this kind of uh, quality, this detail, let me go in here and closer on that there. Uh, I mean, just to get that blue, which is still not exactly correct. It was very hard, Alex, to do, uh, to match the blue on that. His blue was much, even more of an old school blue than that. And I have three different layers of paint, the blue. And uh, this blackness, I just did this. I don't know. I just did this kind of sort of like accidental on the side. And I'm like, you know what? I love this. It got kind of this aging, oily kind of looks. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm sure Alex will like it. And uh, the grill was the most uh, really challenging part. Uh, frankly to do this uh, it's very geometric um, you know the patterns and all these slots and everything or as what's known as in the industry as an egg crate grill right because it's like it's it's very again geometric and if you look at an egg crate everything is like recessed and like well you know what I mean if you have to think about it and uh, so I just finished this painting with the crest here also it's not perfect but whatever we're going to do in that in that scale you know and again, as before, I was, uh, you know, mindful of doing the painting the sides, uh, just like on the uh, the Ford Custom Police car. And it's not going to be a long-winded thing. It took me a week to do this. Uh, I took a couple of days off. And uh, so, uh, you know, really, uh, yeah, I could have probably gone just even just a little bit more with this. But I think the thing is sometimes, I think with paintings, with certain other things you do in life, it's not like building model cars. I think with this stuff, you can easily go overboard and then you start making mistakes. You know what I mean? Like maybe even that black, I might've gone a little bit overboard. I'm like, you know what? If I, if I start touching this up again, the hood, it's going to be a big rigmarole again. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It's fine. I like it. It's beautiful. And it's, it's pretty much perfect. So if I say it's perfect, then that's, that's good enough. Good to go, as they say. So Alex, uh, I'm not going to say how much I'm going to, I'm not going to charge, like, obviously if it was no, if somebody I didn't know, like, you know, like maybe one of you guys as subscribers, I would say 300 bucks, frankly. Uh, no 200, no $250 pain. This took a lot, a lot of work. And, uh, but, uh, uh, for Alex, he has a friend. I, I, I don't know, honestly, I'm just like, you know, Alex, I'm thinking 300 bucks. Uh, and you know, if you don't come here, get it. You know, then it's two eighty, but three hundred bucks, and I'm bringing it to you to you in uh, Pancor. I think you're in Pancor, Il Perot. I can't remember. So yeah, I'm gonna like basically post this right away and send this to him. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know I'm doing this. He doesn't know that I did this painting until now. That's the beautiful thing. I wanted to keep it a secret. It's the same thing with that RCMP uh, Ford Custom I did for for uh, inadvertently for. For Scott, he didn't ask me to do it, but he had mentioned that, like, you know, in the past, in a, weeks ago, he's like, oh, maybe I'll get you to do a painting of uh, uh, um, uh, Derry's, uh, that particular car that, that he filmed. Uh, the guy is, this guy's amazing. I mean, he's in a wheelchair and he's restored cars and he has, like, a, a bunch of vintage uh, real police cars and stuff. This is really inspiring, you know. I mean, how many people could do that uh, and being, uh, being um, restrained, you know. So, uh, it's like me, for example, like, you know, Hey, look, you know me, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't drive these cars legally. I'm visually impaired. And when you see somebody like me, who's got a crooked eye like this, this is a sign of a visual impairment. It's uh, for me, it's an astigmatism. So, uh, I'm not going to let, uh, as much as it hurts not to be able to drive these earth killing machines. I love, I mean, well, why am I going to let that sell me for, you know, what for, uh, it's, it's a passion, a pa obsession, passion. It's like music. It's the same thing. As a matter of fact, one of the things, speaking of music, I was listening to as I was finishing this painting is a, uh, uh, I listen to a lot of internet radio on Garden Radio, and you can listen to music at stations all over the world through the internet, through, through my phone, and I have my little little Bluetooth speaker here, best 45 bucks I ever spent, and uh, yeah, I've been listening to this chill out music, kind of like electronic smooth music, you know, and uh, I like listening to that more than ever, especially doing paintings like that, because it's very relaxing. You're kind of like in a trance. You're in the zone, you know, and man, I got to open this window. It's it's warm in here. I had to close the goddamn window a lot of times because of all the no noise going on here. I mean, oh my God. I mean, there's this woman lately who's just been coughing nonstop. I would hear her, you know, every now and then. And then there's this guy with a the sandblaster. Oh my God. 
I'm telling you, there's a price to pay in the city. I still dream of living in the country. You never know. I tell you something right now. If I ever become successful, a very successful artist and in demand, I will find a way. I will live like maybe back in the suburbs, you know, in an old neighborhood or something. Like it's, it's just like it's. I tell people it's very convenient to live here, but it comes with a price. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that that's that's the. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to mention too is that it was an honor, an honor not only to to do this Cadillac, but it's because hey. <laughs> It's a 69 Cadillac. I mean, look at the, the lines on it. You could never mistake these cars in these years. 50s, 60s, 70s, somewhat 80s, you know, and for any other cars. It's those, all these sharp, jagged lines, these sharp edges in the front and rear. These fenders that would jut right out in the and these models, you know, 65 to 70 particularly. And uh, just a pointed hood. The, 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 even the V, that's a trademark. That's a GM uh, trademark. Uh, and his and Alex's model, funny enough, I didn't know until I met him, I think in 2014, that uh, the Calais, this is a Cadillac Calais, it's not a DeVille. The Calais was a weird one because it was kind of like a, a like a Cadillac Biscayne. It was no frills, meaning no power windows, no extra wood trim, no extra chrome. Uh, the seats were like a basic vinyl seats, I think. And I'm sure, Alex, you'll, you know, you'll, you would be able to fill in the rest. I can't remember. I haven't seen the car, you know, up close in a long time. But so it's an interesting uh, model. I don't think they made them for too many years. So, yeah, a lot of people, I think, didn't go for that. Uh, but a lot of people did, especially in, in uh, foreign countries, because, uh, you know, Cadillac was very, uh, very XP's, uh, you know, in the old days, because they were known as the standard of the world, the best car you could get in the world, the car would, that you bought that said that you made it, you know. So that being said, if you would like to have your vehicle done, uh, car, or, you know, pick up or a van in such an extreme detail like this. Uh, so I used to say, you know, since last year it would be like, you know, whatever, 200, 250 bucks. And nah, it's going to be more than that. Uh, because I've really gotten to perfection here. Um, I mean, if it is something like, like, let's say, um, you know, Buddy's a subscriber of mine, Mikhail, from, who's from uh, Jean-Pierre Chicoutimi, and I did his dad's, uh, what is it, it's an 88 Suzuki Forza, little compact car. It's still a lot of work, but, you know, it's not as much as this. So I charged him, you know, he paid, uh, he paid 250 bucks. You know, so, uh, but if it's, again, if any of these cars that have old cars that have a lot of detail, I mean, and if it's, uh, you know, a bus or a train or any of these types of things, like I always say, that tons and tons of detail, it's going to be even more than said, like a minimum 400 bucks, you know. And I think uh, for my friend Ed out in uh, Savannah, Georgia there, uh, he's uh, sent me a picture of, uh, I thought it was in New York the picture was taken, some rainy street scene downtown picture, and I thought it was New York because it was a bunch of yellow taxis. And Crown Vicks, and turns out it was in Atlanta because he lives in Savannah, and you know Savannah is in Georgia, and you're, I guess, not too far from Atlanta. And so I'll probably be doing that sometime soon. I think I might have some other projects coming too, and just waiting on people to you know pull the trigger and you know have the money because you know it's still times are tight right now. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and again, you want to get in touch with me, uh, you know, leave me a comment, or you can find me on Facebook. Or uh, again, touch with me, which my email is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton McFall, M C F A L L, at hotmail.com. And check me out on Patreon. Become a patron. It would be much appreciated. If you could chip in whatever you want to, 5, 10, 30 bucks a month, something would be great. As, as you know, I'm a poor man. And you know when you live next to an old tenement building like this? <laughs> that looks sketch. Eh, that's when you know you're poor. Yeah, but whatever. I tell people uh, I might be poor and, uh, you know, where I live and they were like that and not have any money in the bank or anything, but it's what I produce. It's what I make. It's what I have that's unique, that's special, that I'm proud of. So take care, guys. Thanks so for watching. Bye-bye.